the cover that you might be interested in. Just tell me what it is. So I'm going up to Mount Rushmore again. And look at this little old town. Old West. Old fashioned fudge packing. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> mountain like literally if you haven't seen the video go watch my other one um, Mount Rushmore day one or night one and um, you'll see what I'm talking about I go up to it everything's great I see it lit up right now holy shit holy shit there's fucking deer Here. Proceed about two miles to hey your destination. Hey guys. Can I see those deer? Look, I'm gonna try to get them in the headlights. Look at those deer, guys. Look at that. Just a bunch of deer hanging out. Like, whoa! That is freaking awesome. They're just like hanging out. Totally hanging out. Hey, what's up, buddy? That's uh, cool. That's cool. Just looking at a little picture of your butt. Yeah, got a little picture of your butt. I wish I had some food for you. God, dude, that is so crazy. The deer are just hanging out there, chilling. I'm from the city, guys. I'm sorry if you're watching this and you live around uh, deer area states, but uh, that shit is <laughs> so cool to me. I'm like, in the, you know, just driving along the street and there's just a bunch of deer just hanging out. I mean, I guess this is all woods, you know, but uh, still. Like, I'm in a mountain. I would guess there'd be deer here, but holy shit, that's crazy. There's just a whole, like five deer just hanging out. Jesus. Hope they don't get hit by a car. Oh, yeah, so I didn't get this on camera, but last night I'm driving back and it's pitch black, as you can see the roads. I mean, and this is like not even nighttime yet fully it's still a little bit of light out you probably can't tell but uh, I'm driving back and uh, I'm on like a main road not even a like not a main road like in the city but like you know a more populated area and I'm driving down and uh, this deer is in the median and like I see it right at the last second I'm doing like 55 and I see it and it like just like stops like two seconds before it ran into my car and it just didn't move. And I'm like, holy shit, that thing could have ran out in front of my car and I would have killed it. And it would have fucked up my car too, I'm sure. Fucking 
four-pound deer just, you know, 55 miles an hour. That would have been a mess. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. I almost, like, I'm so lucky I didn't hit that deer. I probably would have felt horrible, like, especially if it didn't die right away. And it was just, like, kind of, like, dying because I hit it. Oh, my God, I don't know what I would do. I guess I'd have to, like, cut its throat or something. I guess. I mean, I don't have a gun. I don't, you know. The only thing to do would be just cut its throat and let it just die real quick, I guess. Shit, man, I don't know what I would do. But anyway, yeah, it's just animals and shit. I mean, I'm in the mountains. You think Mount Rushmore... You know, it's like a tourist trap or whatever, but you gotta think this is a national park. This is like, you know, you're in the mountains. This is not like, people don't just live here, you know, it's not like a city. Like, this is like South Dakota, like, nothing's going on around here. This is straight up mountains and shit. I always wonder if people live in the forest. Like, every, every, whenever I go through a state where there's forests like this, and it's all dark, especially at night, and you don't have your headlights on, it's just pitch fucking black. I mean, I always think about, like, uh, you know, other people living in the fucking, uh, woods, you know, like hobos or fucking weirdos, you know? Anyway, that's what I think about. That's why I always carry my pepper spray in my pocket, little pocket version, and my knife in my back pocket. My parents actually just bought, went to the gun show in Miami, and they picked me up this really cool knife. It's like a fold-out knife, but it's got like a big uh, rounded top to like chop and stuff. And I think it's got a glass breaker on it. It's really cool looking. And then they also got me this like credit card knife that's like a size of a credit card. Thin, it goes in your wallet. But it actually like turns into a knife. Like it's pretty cool. There it is, guys. Mount Rushmore, right in frame. I'm sure. And let's hope when I get there, they don't turn the fucking lights on for me like, again. A bunch of fucking assholes. I'm sure they saw me there too. They could have waited five minutes. In a quarter of a mile, your destination is ahead. Thank you, baby. So anyway. I'm kind of showing you guys the trip up the mountain to Mount Rushmore. Uh, you know, just so you can see. Your destination is ahead. Yep, I see it. So, you know, you guys can see, you know, because a lot of people take videos at the place and they show you where, you know, the destination, the, the place itself, wherever that might be. But I wanted to show you guys how you actually get here. You have arrived at your destination. The see route it? guidance is now finished. How cool is that? Right in frame, huh? So, yeah, um, dang, I might get away with no parking again. Oh, there's no parking. Sweet, sweet, old man, Alabama. Just saved like 20 bucks. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys, you know, the actual trip into the park and to the destination not just the destination so you get you know you get more into it you're actually with me on this journey going to this place you know wow this parking lot is completely empty again i mean it's actually less than yesterday <laughs> yesterday there was like three big trucks here and now there's just one little car i'm gonna park right under the headlight remember guys city boy tip Whenever you park your car in a parking lot, always park underneath one of the lights so that your car is in a well-lit area. It deters thieves and less of a chance of you getting mugged at your car if you're under a bright light. Just a quick tip. So, now we're here. I'm going to switch to my other GoPro. And we'll check it out again. See ya.